Iridonian ground forces are scattered in the north. al hasn't reported in, and we fear the worst. The Sheik's under siege, Dathmir is blockaded, and the crime syndicates are making moves on Bespin and the local sectors around. They're attempting to gain influence. I can't waste any more time on the Rim. The last few days have been spent chasing what intel reports as one of the last command carriers in this region, an old Providence. First we chased him to Locke, the carrier led us to an asteroid base, hidden by a group funded by the Black Suns. We tore them apart. We had to. Every minute we waste here is another opportunity for the Empire to break the resistance on Kashyyyk. The Wookiees need the fleet. From what we've gathered, the Empire has tossed three full companies of the Wookiees and the Rebels there. We managed to catch up to the command carrier over Ryloth, but they hyperspaced out just as Liberation's guns got into range. Worse, the battle for Geonosis? I was surprised. I had assumed the Black Sun flagship would stand and fight over Geonosis, yet it ran under the cover of its standing fleet. We've lost track of it heading in the general direction of Rhodia, but we were ready this time. Our hunting group ambushed them just outside the sublight lane between the hyperbeads. Their engines were knocked clean off in the first barrage. While the carrier burned over Rhodia, the Liberation provided orbital support for the ground forces landing on Geonosis. The fight wasn't nearly as difficult as we had predicted. The droids seemed to be spazzing out. They must have been using a faulty set of collective processors. I hadn't heard of these being used since the start of the Separatist movement on Naboo, but it's the only reasonable explanation we can think of. If we can mop up the efforts here quickly enough, we might be able to get back to Kashyyyk to assist. And I won't let those Wookiees down. Not again. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome back to Empire War. I guess we're focusing on Bespin. That's cool. And Mustafar. Why not? Just this little corner of the galaxy. Hey, at least we control this corner of the galaxy. Welcome back to Empire War, Forces of Corruption. We're playing the fantastic mod, Awakening of the Rebellion. If you haven't played any of the Empire War mods, or any of the, even the original game, I highly recommend it. It's over on Steam. You can find it really cheap, and there is a awesome community of modders out there adding new content to it. Uh, all the time. All the time. I was actually just watching a stream for the remake mod, and they were making some cool progress on their next version. So, there's just so much cool stuff for this mod. Or for this game. Anyways, let's continue the campaign as the Rebellion. Things aren't going... Great? They're not going terribly, but they're not going great. If you watched the last episode, I think my favorite battle so far was the Siege of Kashyyyk in that last one. There you go. The Empire has come in force with five, no, excuse me, six now ISD. I swear that was only five. And we destroyed one, right? So they've brought in reinforcements. So six ISDs, three traditional ISDs, and three victory uh, Star Destroyers, the Tier 1s. And I thought there was an advanced one, but he is not here right now. So I don't know where they run off to. And they still have uh, Thanos up there. So where they... Oh, yeah. And then there's the Imperial Fleet over Iridonia, which has got Vader in it. Though Vader was taken down, so it's just his, his fleet, his support fleet. We're not actually quite sure what they've got over there. Probably another reason to send over another uh, Bothan spy just to check up on things. Or maybe even send the droids over to give him a poke. Uh, the other issue that we have is our forces have managed to fall back on the ground forces. Kyle Katarn is no more, or maybe he's been arrested and he's in an Imperial prison somewhere. We're not sure. I haven't gotten a mission to rescue him, so I do fear the worst. Uh, and some of our troops have managed to fall back and land on Dathomir or go even farther back to Yavin. Uh, yeah, the Yavin group is where um, where the troops from Iridonia actually managed to get to. Dathomir is blockaded at the moment. We do have a fleet over Scipio that could get some work done with, with three torpedo boats, which is pretty cool. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, the Liberation and the Rebel fleet in the south has managed to blockade every world down here except for Hypori and Orto Plutonia. But all of the primary Outer Rim worlds for the Black Sun have gotten work done. Hypori is, no, is, is a big deal. Let's go ahead and turn on all the things. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out what we want to do with this. Do wh where are the droids? Because you guys are like an, an excellent source of intelligence that's basically free. I can move you around. There you are. You've been spying on Jaeger Miner, and there's been no real movement at the shipyards, the Imperial dockyards up there. So I'm not as worried about you anymore. Let's have you report to Ord Montel. 
and we can see what's going on in Ord Montel. At the same time, has been um, we need to keep the ground forces moving. Do we have oops, Geonosis? Your base of operations is about to come online. I am going to get a shield generator up there. Did we just get another mission? Rescue Kyle Katarn! Yeah, there he is. There he is. Rescue him. He's not De Deltuni. Del Deltuni, really? Deltuni. Not what I expected. Deltuni's up in the north, isn't it? It could be Black Sun or Empire. I'm fairly certain. Like it's 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 kind of random. No, Deltuni's like out here. Yeah. Oh no. How, why? How did you? I want somebody give me the the reason, like the lore reason why. Give me like a a, a little story of why Kyle Katard is in the core sector authority space. Like, I know it's random, and they could have been, ended up in the Black Sun or the Empire. Remember, he was taken down by Vader, by that group, on the 501st, which, you know, horrible flashbacks of the Jedi Purge, but, oh, man. Okay, so that's a thing, which may push our hand eventually. We cannot afford to start another front line, though. So let's not, let's not volunteer for that nonsense just yet. Uh, you're the only planet kind of holding out... They haven't come this way, so let's not volunteer for that. Kessel, you're maxed out, right? You've got decent defenses. Uh, I'm just gonna hold on to you because you are plus two thirty in uh, in credit income. So we'll just we'll just wait. Um, let's focus our efforts. Ooh, ground tech on the empire is about to pop too. Ugh, ugh. We have ground forces at Sullust too, but I don't want to move them because they're the only thing that would be holding back the empire up here. Oh, speaking of Sullust, with our seven grand. I, I want to order up another bomber Quasar Escort. Let's go ahead and do that. That means we should have, what, one or two Escorts in orbit now? We do. And you guys have Y-Wings and a B-Wing, right? Yeah! So if we bring them in for a ground force, we'll have B-Wings. Uh, I believe. I believe the B-Wings will override the uh, the Y-Wings. And we've got a few smaller ships. Oh, you know what? What are you doing? It's your space station over here so I can see if you ever build anything. Uh, what do we have? How many squadrons? One squadron of X-Wings. We've got five blockade runners ready to go and a little bit of artillery support and MC. So we have a nice little fleet building up to hold Alowin. I should probably right send away. you to Ordabana. I should also get some operatives to deal with all of this corruption. The Black Sun is not messing around. They're probably hurting for cash and starting to get a little spammy. Uh, you know what? We're going to steal some money. We're going to find some donations on Corellia. For departure. While you're doing that... Let's get those operatives trained. Hiring bounty hunter. Couple of operatives. Oh no 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 no! I keep doing that. Now what we want is retrieval operatives. Those are the ones that remove corruption. The bounty hunter, which needs a new sound effect, is the um, operations agent. So they're going to take out hunter. heroes, which kind of I guess makes sense for bounty hunter. Uh, all right, we have our special operations troops. And we've got our main ground force. We might put you guys together for this operation. Um, we need to make it quick. I mean, the ground forces are probably fine. Let's move you over to Rhodia. Complete. Let's clear that out. I wit mm, Tatooine. You don't even have a space station right now. We'll wait till the week's up. Come on. We'll pop week 76 and we'll grab a Squadron space station here. I think I'm going to turn like Ryloth into a troop trans, troop transport, complete. troop, uh, troop training facility. And at the same time, maybe get a supply depot here so we can also help bring up our, our build cap, which is actually quite high because we've been taking out the outer rim. We've been picking up new plants and I've been putting bases everywhere. We're not really having an issue. Uh, Utapau though, you, you don't have any production benefit, right? What's your deal? This planet can build ground mining facilities. Yeah, it can, but not for us. Let's go for a supply depot there. And Solus Vaughn, you do get benefits. Local manufacturing, Rindil Star Drive uh, is the local manufacturer. But you're not gonna tell me what that means. Pretty certain that means you get space 
units cheaper. Yeah, 12,350. What is your normal price? So an MC75, 12,300 versus our other capital shipyard, probably all the way over at uh, Moncala. Uh, oh, Moncala is even cheaper to build at. Crap baskets, I can't even use, use a comparison. Who who can build MC75s? Uh, no one. Yeah, I haven't built the capital shipyard, so I don't even know what the default price is because I have other yards. Oh, we have one coming up, actually. Scipio's getting a medium shipyard. We might be able to... No, that'll give us frigates, so that's not true either. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Rodia. Let's look at the planetary info. Do I need to put Rogue Squadron there? No, I think we can take you with the troops that we have on hand, particularly with the anti-vehicle. The Empire has advanced their tech level. Uh, what was that sound? Invasion commencing. Let's begin the invasion of Rodi and secure the rest of the Outer Rim. Somebody was trained. I don't know who. Now, do we have Rodians backing us up, or do they just not care? Oh, I didn't read the, yeah, the bonuses there, right but I saw here, it said sir. something about shield generators. Ready. Why would Rodia have some kind of shield generator bonus? Mm. Rodians? Yes! Road and they're full squads of Rodians too. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's see if we can grab up these landing areas as quickly as possible. And I'm not gonna waste the credits. You know what? We will. We'll we'll pick up. We'll pick that up. Let's bring in an officer. Let's bring in some anti-vehicle vehicles, and we'll just stick with hover vehicles today. We've captured a command post. More Rodians have joined us. Let's go scout the map a little bit. You Rodians go north, you Rodians go south. You wing, welcome to the fight. Gonna make you group one. I'm gonna send you straight to the back of the map. Get back there and tell us what we got going on. Let me know if you notice any kind of uh, visual change. I managed to find a potential fix for some of my shader issues. Which had me going into the reg edit to change some settings. They wouldn't let me change them in the actual uh, game settings. It's a bit frustrating, but is what it is. Let's bring out another squad uh, and we'll bring in some light light vehicles. Uh, let's bring in the Bothans. Okay, we got eyes on the enemy base. They have a droid factory. It's old CIS droid factory. Black Sun Outpost. They've got... Uh, proton turrets starting to be built. Ready for command. You've eaten a lot of damage. I'm changing your route to there. Rodians, go ahead and move out. Let's go ahead and pause. Let's get you over here. I am feeling a little bit of a slowdown. Is there anything over here? Oh, look at the look at the dam in the back. The animated dam. A gigantic water wheel actually quite cool. Uh, we could have dropped, actually, on their side of the river, but I think we're just going to walk it. Yes, Commander. All right, forces, let's move. Affirmative. I'll follow your lead. You know what? We'll come in from the north. Is Following your lead. We're moving as a team. We've we're engaging the enemy. The enemy on swoop bikes. Go ahead and take cover. Wow, are you guys all riflemen? Your range is really good. Spread out to avoid explosives. Let's see. Rodians work. As bounty hunters and mercenaries, but some of them fight for the freedom of their home world. Using weapons, I missed that. Using, using whatever weapons they get their hands on. Okay. Anti-vehicle. I think we're gonna get a sensor node here. And we can bring in reinforcements there. Where's the rest of the convoy? Are you guys having trouble getting across the river? Oddly realistic. Takes time to cross the river. Uh, what we don't want, Rodians go. Let's see if we can secure that bunker. And there was nothing up here in the top? Uh, no, there's a couple of turrets up there, but that kind of screams. Oh, Rodians, please stop breaking the empty base of operations there. All right, Coda, time to lead the fight. I'm gonna bring in some heavy armor to back you up. Oh man, isn't that, that is the ship from, um, what is that? Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed. That is a game I have never sat down and played. What do you see? I know it's not canon, because it's like incredibly over the top. 
Oh, it's getting wrecked. But if you would recommend it, let me know if it's worth playing through. I know we've got Jedi Fallen Order sequel coming. Oh, he threw his lightsaber. <laughs> get him, Coda. Don't let him get away. Crush it. Uh oh, run! As he dodges torpedoes meant for much heavier vehicles. What the heck? Yeah, we're gonna hold up here. Sit tight. I'm gonna get you a sensor node. Sensor node constructing. The siege of Rodia. What is shooting you from that range? Is it the Rodians? No, no, it's the giant anti-vehicle like <laughs> tank destroyer. With the torpedo tubes on the sides. Oh, look at that. So one of the things that I am noticing is that we're not getting the flickering, that Z fighting that we normally get. Very cool, very cool. Don't go any farther. There's a proton torpedo launcher up there. I had a moment worried that Coda had moved in. I think it might be about time to move forward and kill that. Um, what, What's their anti-air look like right now? Oh, this is all they've got? Definitely getting an FPS drop now that I turned the lighting up. Oh, there's all of the tor- Okay, so all the torpedoes have been used on the T3Bs, or T3Hs, so. Woo, if you've got good range. Look at that. That's why I didn't want you to move up. Torpedo bad, okay? But I'm glad you discovered this on your own. All right, we should move in. feel like we've got this. I mean, the only reason that we might want to wait, we can see them because we built the sensor node right here. I like that little rebel. Little rebel bunker. All right, Rodians, hold them in there. Don't let them escape. Wait, what is that capturable? Is it mine? It's Mercs. It's Mercs. We're gonna. You know, let's hold tight. I tell people this all the time. If you're attacking, you get to control the flow of the battle. You don't have to rush in. Why don't I live up to that advice and uh, hold tight? We'll put fast forward on. We'll wait till the liberation in orbit has its bombers, its Y-wings loaded up and ready to go. They've got no air defense. We can um, we can thin this crowd a little bit. All right. So now we're going to move in. Bombing run will be from, I think if I angle this just right, should come in from the top right. Yeah, there it is. And then we get the run. I'm hoping splash damage hits everybody. All right, heavies. We're just gonna overwhelm the anti-vehicle. Oh, that's that's a grenade launcher. You're the least I have in the worried. Fall back. Coda, let's go. A turret should be down. It is. Bombers are coming in. Wait for it. Should be a good strike too. Multiple. And there's the uh, ion turret on the top of them. Oh yeah, that's a good hit. And we got a little splash damage onto the buildings. Okay. Let's go. Roger that. Is it just me, or do the structures like spawn units a little too fast? We're pushing. Yeah, I need that. I need that sub mod. All the little icons, it's just way too much. What, ha what happened to you? Rodian, take cover. He just chucked that lightsaber at that dude's face. Come on, heavy vehicles, get up here. Let's kill this thing quick so they stop getting their reinforcements. We pushed through, we did the work. The deployable cover is one of my favorites. Oh, look at the boffins! Remember we brought the Bothans in. They look like riding jockeys. The base is ours. What are we gonna do with you, Rodia? System conquered. Let's pause, I wanna read that, that benefit again. Planetary info. Uh, cheaper production. Base shields are 5% cheaper galaxy-wide due to Rodia's advanced shielding technology. Where are they getting that Rodia has advanced shield technology? That's something I've never heard before. I'm okay with it. It's fine. I just, it's definitely, hmm. 
And then Rodian Hunters are 10% cheaper galaxy-wide. Yeah, you say that, but then who builds Rodian Hunters as a as just a unit you have access to? I imagine you have to have Rodia to do that, so maybe that's a thing we have now? Let's see. Hey, Hoth. You got any Rodians in there? No? Kamino, can you, like, train Rodian Hunters now? No? Okay. Galaxy-wide being the Kingdom only planet Star. who has them? Maybe? I don't know. That's a weird one. That's a weird one. That's a weird one. Locke is... Hmm... Corruption has been removed. Yeah, I think we're ready Wonder to move. Reporting. We can move out. That base of operations. I'm gonna move the fleet down to lock. Join back up. We're gonna make this quick. So be it. We gotta get back up to Kashyyyk. Uh, I could move. The northern fleet. The Northern Fleet is sitting on eight squadrons of Y of, of X-Wings, four of Y-Wings. That's a really good mix because they've got that nice heavy front line. With the next payment, if we got another cap ship with you guys, like what you're missing is something like an MC-80 because you should have that shielding ability. Yeah, projection shield. That would give you even more survivability. I wonder if they've got the firepower to break through Mandalore. Secure our southern flank. A lot of people want me to get home one, and that's what I would use to take Mandalore if we had the opportunity, but if we were going to get home one with the fleet, we'd have to finish Mon Mothma's mission. Which requires, I don't think they've changed this. We'd have to have the wheel. That's a valuable planet. Sal, Sami, and Jabim. So basically, the wheel, Jabim, and Sal. Yeah. We'd have to pull you from this front, and that would be a little scary to do so. Let's wait until the shipyard is done. We've got a lot invested in this medium shipyard, and that'll give you a defense fleet. Maybe invest in a QX or an XQ. Maybe even get, like, a hit against the Erdonians, try to slow this fleet down, maybe destroy one of them. I think we've got the firepower to do it. Once that, But we won't do anything until that, until that shipyard is finished. We're going to protect that. Uh, all right, ground army's almost here. Let's finish the Outer Rim Sieges. Ooh, but before we do that, Ryloth. Hey, you got that base? You do have that base. Alliance army support platoons are 20% cheaper galaxy-wide. <gasps> Due to the local Twi'lek medical training. What? Oh, man, how much do they cost now? That's amazing. They're, they're under 1,000. Yeah, no, we're going we're gonna to train one. We're definitely going to train one. And we're going to pick up... Um... Oh, that's good. They also get a really decent amount of credits coming in. 173. We could bump that. And this could be a, such a credit producer for us. Next week. So week 77, we're going to do uh, investment. in. We're investing in the Outer Rim. We're investing in an area that would be considered, you know, not worth it by the Empire standards. I like that as a narrative uh, flair. And turning it into a valuable region that isn't complete. just for, like, mining spice and... Okay, can we... Oh, I'm trying to invade with the wrong army. Let's do... Um, let's bring in the suppression platoon, just in case. Invasion commencing. Locke is a fairly inhospitable planet. When you've played in an MMO for so long that you, like, vividly Choose remember... Oh, wow, I wish I had a transport here. I really do. Heading out, sir. Some ground forces down. Right Code, I need you to lead this. Um, and then I'm going to bring in our heavy armor. So it'll be infantry holding the line, heavy armor, and a little bit of air support from the officer. We're already getting poked at. There's something capturable. Oh, it's the Merc base. Yeah, we should try to get that Merc base. Looks like you've angered the locals. All right, I'm sending you, Coda, and a team with you. Go capture this, your group one. I hope I don't re regret this. I'm sending over the Ewing to cover. I'm taking a support. You know, I'm taking the officer. Head to the back and capture that mine. Form Don't up. need that. It's in the scout. Awaiting order. See that that mine is on our side. How much do these give you these days? So we have 10,000 now. Let's let it pop. Your orders. You've secured an abandoned mining facility. Um. Full Enemy unit <gasps> Wait, what? Okay, hang on a second. The abandoned mining facility is captured. The mining facility gives a one-time cash bonus for capturing. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then they normally detonate. 
Uh, we have a third party on world. And they're Gamorrean cards. <laughs> hang on, hang on. They have to be the thumbnail, right? Like, let's... When in doubt, Gamorrean guard out. Oh, look at him. That model actually looks surprisingly good. Wow. Remember how old this game is. I know we all take it for granted these days. That this game is, you know, absolutely ancient. Um, we are getting attacked. Not only are we being attacked, but they're actually doing damage. Oh, no, it's the Trandosian army behind us. Okay, you guys, lock it down. Take cover. And open up on those Trandosians. We're still trying to hurry and get the Kashyyyk. It's all mad rush to get our forces over to Kashyyyk. Now, my plan was to back up. Oh, that's not good. We got all kinds of enemy fire coming in. Can we, um, we can keep that offline. All right, armor, you deployed? Armor, while that thing is ion cannon, I need you to go in and destroy it. They have turbo lasers on the deck. There's the mining facility. That paid over a thousand. That's not bad. When your when your weekly is only ten, I mean, a tenth of your total galactic income from a single mine is pretty good. All right, armor's moving up. While the turbo laser has been ioned to doom. Look at that Ewing getting work done. We're just gonna get a free ion turbo laser kill. I mean, yeah. I don't know what we're shooting, but it sure ain't happy. Moving the heavy up. We get it? We got it. All right, good job, Ewing. Fall back. I might need you later. See if you can get your shields back online. Start rerouting power. Get out of there. Oh, man. We've gotten back into playing Star Wars Tabletop, me and, and uh, Wasted Space. I never, I don't know who that is. I've done series with him before. And his character decided that he was going to take a little bit of coaxium fuel that was already energized into a, a ship, take a little bit out, take a sample of it, and try to put it into another ship to refuel it so they can go to hyperspace, right? This is that explosive material from Solo. And uh, let's just say the dice were not kind. Like, he has the technical skill to do it, but sometimes... Sometimes the dice aren't kind. He rolled really poorly. Everything went wrong, and uh, he almost... TPK the party? Uh-oh, we lost a piece of armor. You need to fall back and use your brace. Ah, that's the problem. Okay, all units, switch targets. We gotta kill that. Fire off those torpedoes. Who's putting rounds into you? An old abandoned factory. So they even got a factory, so they got free units. This is looking rough. So I brought back in the Ewing. He's probably not gonna make it, but at least it'll keep that turret offline for a little bit longer while we get the torpedoes away. We're going to move up as well. Let's finish this job. Armor. I want that dead. Armor. Get those torpedoes going. I'm not sure I like the track version of the um, the Rebel Heavy Tank. Like, I like that, you know, it's got that extra... It can survive with quite a few hits. I think it has way more health. We can look at the stats later. A little bit of the... There's the torpedoes. Kill that turret. And then switch to this target. But they don't... It's not, you know coming back if that makes sense you're not getting that let's um let's have a transport drop in here for the extra firepower get you firing your torpedoes at that target unless you've got mechanics and i don't have mechanics in the army uh, i only have a medical team which needs to hold up hold up there hold up there get yourself into a fire fight i'm gonna move you up and around now let's bring in some anti-infantry support we got a vehicle behind us see like look at that he's just getting chunked for health What would be the best mechanic to bring in? I think we get... Oh, there's our mortar around. You can see the, the trail. And that, that hero ship of the Rebellion taking off. I'm just trying to think of, like, to go with them. They don't get regenerating health pool, which is the um, the shield. So what would be... What would be our best mechanics? I know we have a mechanic unit. I just can't remember if it was a hero unit or what. How you guys doing over there? Did you take care of those Gamorreans? Yes, but we've also got, like, there's something up there owned by the... Got it. Head north. Also, where's our what officer? You Your orders. Oh, you're in the fight. Yeah, he's gone into the fight. What is it? Proper rebel officer on the front line. Getting work done. Who are you? Single, single fella. Running through the... Nope, he's dead. Okay. Ready for 
Yeah, like all of our support units currently in the main um, Southern Army is medic. It's medical. Hmm. There's a capturable building. Oh, it's still capturable too. How we doing up there? Suppression teams. Ah, Trandosians are your problems. Well, this is kind of what you guys do, so. You know, take it out. Can't really send you reinforcements. What is that? Trandosian dwelling? I'll give you air support once we have it. I can't really hold up and wait. Alright, let's do a little scouting. Our U Wing bought it. He didn't make it. You guys are quick. Let's go. Enemy base of operation. Okay. A uh, lot of enemy infantry. Oh, that's not good. All right, just going to whip them back and around this way. Let's go after that building. Move up as a group. Oh, they got a lot over there. Yeah, run, run, run. Come back this way. Bringing down missile troops right now. Ha. <laughs> I like that they're consistent. They have the same weapon system. Let's go ahead and use our mines. And then here comes the lads. Mines deploy. Mines deploy. Spreading out. And then we're going to yes, kill sir. all that. Please tell me you're not trickling in. You're trickling in. Fall back. Are you still bracing? Oh, it's a thing that you can turn on and off. Okay. Oh, they got they got a lot going on here. we got to fix this right now. Bombing run coming in from the Y-Wings. I need you all to hold up and take cover. Hold position. Air support is on the way. I like this map a lot. I've got my approach right there. I was going to bring our forces in the north cover, but that's not going to happen. Those trans are doing a terrible, terrible amount of damage. Come on, Y-Wings. We need it. Look at that enemy force. It's huge. And it's dead. Now's our chance to strike. Let's go. Locke is a costly battle, man. I need you all up here. I need you all up here. Let's go. I think this is one of those instances where start breaking the building. The rest of the squad can start clearing them out. Armor move. Armor move. Let's go. We've lost control over that mine, but it didn't actually blow up. That's so weird. I wonder if those mines got anything done. All heavy vehicles, focus your fire on the building. The sooner that's dead, the less fire enemies are going to fight. No, you're doing good. You're doing good. You've almost got the building. Quite the production unlock. If I've got to go through you, then so be it. I like his lines. Let's go. Arms dealer is the main target. We've got any target. I'm so damaged. Please don't die. I can't actually make replacements for you. At least not yet. Not until we do the training. And that money has to go into credit generation out here in the outer rim. The bombardment is ready. What is it? They're so spread out, and they've got so, so many local troops. All right. Ready to roll. I hate to do this to you. Oh, they've got a big turret there, too. Oh, yes, they do. There's no way to take that down easily. I'm hoping they retreat after we break their nether building. Don't make me go around this. Fire everything you've got. Structure is destroyed. Those heavy cannons. Why are you so sorry to hit? Come on, you've almost got him. All right, all torpedoes here. So be it. Nice. A major strike is what we really need. Support order acknowledged. We're moving up. 
Come on, man. So this way. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste that. Roger that. Cancel. Fall back. Uh, don't waste that. I'll bring you a group of boffins. What do we got up here? These aren't actual, like, units. Where's the rest of my army? Come on, guys. Oh, you guys are half in cover. That's why. Yeah. Pull them out of cover so they move at the fastest. The slowest unit speed. That's the speed you'll be moving at. Unless you break up, you know, who you've got selected. Uh, we gotta get over this hill. Apparently over means around. Because we're not hitting anything. We're doing zero damage. I'm gonna bombard this. There's a large enemy force moving around up there. And this is why the missiles are so useful comparative to, like, the rocket teams we have. The rockets don't track, and they don't follow the ground terrain. There's the bombardment. Get you guys around this. Hey, Scout, come here. Go throw an ion at that turret so we're not taking damage from it all the time. There you go. That turret should be offline now. Fire! Ooh, that's a slowdown. Keep your fire up. I'm giving them the order for like the fifth time to go up there. We got that turret. I'm not happy with that turret. No good way to take that down except for run in the scout units. I think I only have literally the one. Oh, and up oh, there. There we go. That was their last paid for unit. As Coda goes charging in. <laughs> okay, that's not awful. We're going to have to get some new suppression platoons. They were kind of a front line the entire time. Uh, we're going to get you a base of operations going. And your other worlds in the nearby sector. Upgrade Supply depot. Upgrade Supply depot. Tatooine, start training suppression teams. Soldiers. Nice. All right. That leaves the fleet needing to take care of one more planet back here, and our back line's looking pretty good. And then Rhodia, you desperately need a space station. Because you share a border with the Empire. Let's rearrange some things. Put a Nebulon B up there. Construction complete. Move the liberation. Complete. Corruption over to meet up with, uh, why is Locke corrupted still? Hmm? The teams should be about ready. I'm gonna need another operative. We're gonna need a, oh, we're broke. We're broke. All those bases we've been building, chewing up our resources. Or to ban as the priority here, so head on out and deal with that. Okay, fleet. Let's go. Art of Plutonia. We're getting it done. Oh, he's back. We just got one of our heroes back. Let's move our ground forces back over to Tatooine. Plotting course. In the north is the shipyard finished. It is done. So we have a medium shipyard. Here. We have 10,000 credits. That was supposed to go into supply bases and credit generators. Hmm. Rhodia, let's get your space station online. Tatooine. I'm not going to get rid of the Rebel HQ here. I am going to give you a shutter shield, though. I know it costs... It's going to be a bit chunky. And I might give you a medium rebel factory. That's kind of tempting. We'll wait on that, though. They've got some training that needs to be done. Let's put it on pause. The fleet is en route. I think the fleet in the north is going to go poke your Adonia and see if we can cause a little bit of damage. Uh, oops. A little bit of damage to your Adonia might not be a bad idea. Not to really take the orbit, but just to knock out some of those ISDs. Make them think twice about heading in. Because I want to pull that force back, and I want to poke Mandalore, but I'm worried they're going to try to backdoor us. Whoa, that was a lot of purple on the map. Tell me it's... Coordinates received. 
fauna and not and not pirates. There's something over here. Oh, yep, it is. It is Minox. The, the little Minox swarm. Bat-like creatures in space. They are often found near asteroid fields. Wait, did that say they provide cover? Or do the asteroid fields provide cover? Uh, they damage everything inside them, but also provide cover, increasing the defense of a ship inside it. Oh, that's funny. Got that Minoc defense. Nebulon B frigate here. Frigate en route. This is a weird map. It makes me think that there's more, like there's something here that's capturable. Let's move in here and get another scout. And we'll just kind of send the scouts through. I'm gonna send you north. If Elon B's kind of meet up in the middle, we'll send the scouts out and see if there's anything cool on this map. Awaiting orders. Asteroid field ahead, shields to double front. You'll be fine. Copy. I think, I'm not actually sure. Good luck. It just cracks me up that in, in the vanilla game, asteroids are 2D sprites. Oh, man. Like, how much this has changed from the vanilla game. Very cool. Also cool is how much the uh, the teams, the various teams of working together to make this a thing. Like, a lot of the models in this, not all of them, but a, quite, quite a few of them have been, um, uh, have come from mods like Remake, you know? A lot of the facts and stuff like that. Uh, and I think they've gotten some of their mechanics from uh, Awakening the Rebellion in their last release. I have no idea what they're going to come... Ooh, asteroid see, that's what I'm talking about. Something cool. Abandoned space mine. Some asteroids hold valuable resources that are directly extracted from mining equipment. Asteroid and what I've learned over the last... The over a decade of covering, you know, mods and mining community is that a lot of times... Oh, no. Minox are moving through. Is that... Oh, yep. It's right on me. Is it doing damage? That's not even following. It's just kind of like there. Interesting. Yeah, is the drama. There's a lot of drama in the modding community for various games. Oh, there's another one right there. And we are capping it. So we are at 6,800 resources at the moment. We have captured this. I'm not sure what it's done. Reporting. I mean, it gave a sight, it looks like. So capture the other one. This structure can be captured. Yes, sir. That's great, but what does it do Asteroid when you capture ahead. it? Like what what happens? Yes, Commander. I was Light kind of hoping we get some like Y8s, combat Y8s, you know? That would be hilarious. Maybe a couple of small laser cannons Mind on them, but like a lot of health. <gasps> ah, that's what happens. We loot it and it explodes. Okay. And we get like a grand. Oh, hell yeah. Ready. Let's go grab this ahead. one. Shields to double front. On my way. We are desperately in need of resources, so. Where's our Nebulon bees? They're moving, not really together. Uh, we're gonna have you hold up right around there. And then we'll build up the fleet that's gonna be used for combat. Y Wing Squadron reporting. Y Wing Squadron still making their way through. So his defense is up because he's near Minox. Your orders? Asteroid field ahead. Shields to double front. It's weird. Uh, it's weird. Funny. Basically, they're like mobile asteroids. They give small ships defense bonuses, and they do. They probably do damage to capital ships. All right, there's the other mining facility. Um, we have proceeding to coordinates. The enemy in sight. Let's give him a ping. A couple of acclimators, a piece of artillery, and a lot of fighters and Minox. A lot of fighters and Minox. Eat them, Minox. I believe in you. Choose your reinforcements. I think they're gonna run. Coming around. Well, one, I'm gonna bring in an artillery ship. Right bring in the torpedo boat. Bring in the destroyer. Out. I think they're gonna take off. Bring in somebody in the comments section has discovered the fact that uh, GR 75s can heal blockade runners and um, basically any Corvette. They heal the health bar since there's no subsystems. And if you just doom stack them, you can kind of cheese it and make money or make money, make uh, make them almost invincible. 
Uh, the only problem with that plan, uh, which has worked, bring in the Corvettes now, is that, uh, well, one, it's kind of boring to just sit there and, like, whack them all the health bars. Oh, are they going to run? I'd run, too. Yeah, they're going to run. Okay, cool. Well, we got a couple thousand credits from loot out of that, and we managed to chase off the few Black Sun ships in the region. You can do it, but the GR-75 dies in a blink of an eye. If you look away from it for two seconds, it's gone. And the Corvettes have to be in the fight to get anything done, so you got to move them in close for the most part. Except for maybe those artillery ones that the Black Sun get. Uh, and the, maybe the Marauders for the, for the Rebel Alliance. I, I bet those Upgrade heal too. Complete. Removing corruption. But I don't know. It just seems kind of a little cheese. I mean, you could do it. And if the Corvettes have to get close, you got to bring the GR-75 close. How much microing do you want to do on a fleet like that? All right. So, ground forces. I know you're hurting. We're slowly getting you replenished. Uh, speaking of getting you replenished. Oh, did you get that other operative out? Reporting. Hiring. No. Actually... Let's go look. Does Hypori have a hero? And Kamino, have you trained up any support personnel? You, you didn't. You didn't. Solistans. Yes, it just hit me, and I'm sure there's been some some angry comments already. Solistans are my mechanics. That's who I was trying to think of. I've already used them a few times. Luke. Go ahead and um, get off the deck and head over to the fleet over at Alloin. And let's send over our... Moving ahead. Let's send over Iblis. Iblis can help out. Maybe he can help defend, um, defend this region. Do we get that? Uh, yeah, Operant's ready. Transport Go clear. find the pirates that are causing us trouble. No hero, huh? There's that Providence. They've got two providences, and they've got two ship refitters, and they've got a large pirate haven. This is not going to be the easy fight that I was expecting. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, What's our force look like right now? It's the space. It's the space fleet that's going to be the problem. I'm gonna have to group you guys together. All right, one problem at a time. Odor Plutonia. Let's move you in. I, I'm pretty confident we can take so it. Be it. Oh, you can see the moons over Odia orbiting. Construction complete. That's cool. I like that little bit of detail. Oh, oh, oh! The Black Sun major space victory at Jeddah. <gasps> what? The Black Sun have taken Jeddah from the Empire? Uh, once IG-88 took over, it seems like they're doing okay. Corruption. I mean, outside of what we're doing to them, but they're doing some work against the Empire. Good! Fight amongst each other for a little while. Give me a break. All right, ground forces. Reporting. I'm sending Coda Reporting. in first. Let's do this. Invasion commencing. The Outer Rim will be ours. I need to check up on Kashyyyk and make sure they're training reinforcements. What is it? Or the Empire makes another play. Oh, welcome to a cold planet. Choose your reinforcements. Bring in the officer to scout. Bring in our heavy armor. All this I armor can. would have so many like pop marks in it, copy. so many holes. I'm bringing the Spec Ops out, platoon sir. as well because we're kind of missing anti-infantry capability, and then Course it's all armor. Alliance right Trooper, and the rest of it, yeah, all armor. So we're pop capped. Go to take that empire. unit over there and see if you can capture it. Um, reinforcements will be there shortly. Copy. You guys need to spread out. I copy. Reporting. Yes, sir. You're going to be good yes, too. Commander. Go help right them out, see what's over there. There is a pathway across. I kind of want to see what's up there. Ready. What are we shooting at? 
Oh, that's a capturable site. Yeah. Yeah, get in there and capture that. Go see what's north. Yes. Because if we can hold this. The enemy has been spotted. I mean, that'll look pretty good. What do we got? Another defense point. Your orders. We've Let's... How much of our money do we have? 2,300. And this isn't really a planet that I think I we're going to have to defend. We'll if we're defending this world, like, worse stuff has gone down. Constructing. All right, let's get some bunker crackers coming down. Bring in the rockets. Uh, let's go with the sensor array. What do you see? We don't have to go combat specific. I love the lat. Doing a little strafing run. Get him in my hand before he leaves. Break it. I'm calling back the U-wing. gonna be okay here you guys good between the Jedi yeah, let's move you in oh he's suppressed yeah that kind of sucks <laughs> that kind of sucks well our other force should be able to just walk across and wreck them maybe he doesn't have much on that side these days Oh, they've got B2s. And then our reinforcements. Oh, they went too deep. They went too deep. You didn't wait for infantry support. Sometimes you guys move in formation, and sometimes you just give up at life. Why? Yeah, dig in right there. Hold out for a second while the rest of us get caught up. Code has gone really deep. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. But it's like, I'm just going to break this vehicle. Give me saber throw at that back group of B2s. This has to be an unwelcome. Nice, you got most of them. All right, all forces pressed. Let's get it done. We're closing in on both sides. What is it? Code is getting very damaged. I'm gonna start pulling him out. I believe in you guys. Throw everything you've got into that building. Now save Coda. You gotta kill these anti-vehicles, anti-infantry speeders. Let's get some mortars on those B2s. Oh, I misclicked them. There it goes. And we're here. Finish the job. Push forward! Oh, that was a hell of a time to hit the button. Awesome. Oh, no, we lost the rebel officer. He must have put himself up in the front when I control A. Damn. It happens. Whoa, 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 whoa. What in the... It is this. The Empire. How? Why? How did you... It's a victory class? We have little time. Oh, and look at all the... Yeah, we're removing corruption now. Corruption look, look at has that! Been removed. How did you guys even manage that? Tactical battle imminent. You think it was a, um... Like the quickest support fleet I could bring in. Uh, which is the Liberation and a Quasar. Yeah, how in the world did you guys manage to get there? There are space stations now behind you. They must have moved them in just before the space station was constructed. We'll launch all fighters and prepare for combat. Since Ready. we're both carriers. We're going to be relying on the carriers, I think. Ready. Affirmative. And rogue squadron. Let's see if we can knock out the engine so that victory class can't get away. I would love to take that thing out. Let's get this over with. Send me on my way. Both carriers have launched their fighters. Do I trust it? I get the messages of like, oh, Shaq, you know, the liberation was destroyed in my campaign. Or the worst ones, I destroyed the liberation in my campaign. But I get that a lot. The liberation is, um, it's paper thin. If you're not careful, you know, you'll lose it. It's so easy to lose. 
It's overgunned for its size. It can't hold up against the bigger capital ships that everybody else is fielding. You really have to use it as more like a gun platform in the back, support platform, and never let it be the attention to detail, you know, the attention of the enemy. Or you will quickly regret it. See it down there. But if it, lit, it gets to sit in the battlefield, and if it gets to put out rounds without being even looked at, it can do so much damage. We've got them on the run. Ah, they're running. Your nah, we're not going to make it in time. I was hoping because we were a smaller fleet, they might stand and fight, but it is just a victory. I don't blame them. I'd run too. Enemy unit sighted. I, I wanted to ask that captain how he even got out here. Mission log updated. Uh, what do we got? Gain planetary control over Yalicia. You'll get a bulk freighter, a uh, neutron star bulk cruiser. Hmm. That's a big ask on Mothma for a Nebulon. Where is Yalicia? That's in the... Is that in the core? If that's in the core, you can just kick rocks. It's a hot planet. This planet has a high credit income. I mean, oh, that rebel fleet, or that imperial fleet over Kessel isn't looking fairly great. I should probably get you a detachment assigned here. We're dug in, but Enlisting. having just the base outpost, mm, I'll train a few. We're at 30,000 credits. So if for the next episode, you have 30,000 credits, right, to, to commit to the Rebellion. In what way are we going to commit to the Rebellion? Is it research? Is it to bulk up the fleet? Because there's definitely some elements of the fleet that could use bulking up. Um, our northern fleet, which is our response to maybe Iridonia or Mandalore. Do we bulk up our ground forces that are coming off the Outer Rim Siege? Do we bulk up the... Do we dump it all into resource generation? You know, Utapau's got nothing on it in the way of uh, buildings. So does Solus Van. Mustafar could use a few structures. Maybe even a garrison down there. Um, a lot of space stations that generate income are probably due up. What do we have for income generation? I think we have... Uh, not you. You cost money, but you don't. Oh, wow. We don't actually have that many. It's just structures that generate an income. It's all specialized worlds like Bespin and Ordabana. Hmm. Yeah, let me know. 30,000 credits are on the table for what we could put into stuff. That's enough to do like two, maybe even three researches as well. I would have saved it up. Or just buy up capital ships. Hmm. I do love me a MC-80. I will see you all in the next one. Later, everybody.